Back to the program, we are talking about Neighborhood Watch, and uh, we're going to go right back to the phone lines because they are lit up and some folks been holding on for a while. Hello, you're on HTV. Hello? Dan? Hey, how are you? Good, all right. Oh, what I'm calling about is uh, not Neighborhood Watch, but it's about uh, debit, debit card uh, fraud. Debit card uh, fraud. Yeah. Talk uh, about you had a situation? Yes. Uh, my card was, uh, in other words, I don't know how they did it or whatever. I'm not going to mention, you know, what store it is, but it's more of a retail joint uh, around Homer. And uh, for some kind of way, they got my card, and they were using it all over the United States. Now, they actually and, had your physical card, or they had the number to on your card? Uh, we don't know yet. We, we're still in the process. But you don't have your card in your possession? Yes, I have the card in my possession. Oh. Well, so I don't know how they did it, if they took the number or, what, or you know, whatever. But uh, what I want to do is warn the public to keep a close eye on their debit uh, charges and make sure if they, you know, if they see something irregular or something like that, to you know, nip it in the bud. Very good. Glad you called in for that. Did you guys call the cops, I mean, as far as uh, the police department? Yes, I, okay. I called the, uh, I mean, the... Uh, City Police is a district, uh, and uh, uh, Detective uh, Dexter Dedevo really helped me out with everything I needed. And I uh, just, you know, want to warn the public to keep a close eye on their debit cards because uh, everybody's busy and working and they do a lot of charges with the debit cards and all, but to really keep their receipts and keep an eye on the charges, make sure that, you know, that they're, they're uh, doing the charges. Very good. We appreciate you calling. Okay, thank, thank you. Thank you. Is that common? Yeah, we, we get we have that problem, and, and uh, don't, what, what I recommend is calling us first thing. I mean, as soon as you see a problem, charges being uh, off your debit card, they need to call as soon as possible. So is that classic identity theft type thing, or is it uh, just, we, they it, just got this guy's number? And yeah, it's no telling how they got it, but again, you know, that's something that uh, is a problem that we deal with, and I'll just recommend as soon as you see any uh, unusual charges coming out, you need to call us so we can try to uh, work on putting a stop to it. Very good. Let's get back to the phone line. Hello, you're on by time. Hello? Hello. Hey, how are you? Hello, this is Dan. Yes, it is. Uh, I'm Jeffrey from uh, from Warner Bay Olympics. Hey, Jeffrey, how are you? Hey, no time, no see. I haven't seen you in a while. Uh, every once in a while, I'll come on and do something. How you been, Jeffrey? Okay. You doing okay? Good. I, I think I have a, a question and a and a comment for for Todd. Okay. I think I had a a, a comment first. Okay, go ahead with your I comment. I good, a, a good advice is not to show other people your, your, your credit number. Well, I, we hope that he didn't just show somebody. Uh, that could be uh, more additional problems, but you got to be careful how you show it to other people. Not for yourself, but for other people as well. Right. Anything else, Jeffrey? i got a question for time. Okay. I think... Your, your department has done a good job for this parish, and then I'm going to keep this parish looking forward in the, in the, in the days ahead. Not the days ahead, in, in, in the future, in the future of this parish. Very good. And then we have this parish, and we, we're not going to have, we, we're not no supporters. Very good. I support you and your, and your department, and keep on the good work. Thanks, Jeffrey. Thank you. You have a good night for July. All right. Jeffrey is actually from the northern part of the parish and uh, actually represents us real well in Special Olympics. Goes all over the country representing right. us. And uh, we like Jeffrey and Herman call every once in a while, and they are just good people. And uh, everywhere they go, they, they bring a smile. So I'm kind of glad he called in. Here we go. Let's get to the line again. Hello. You're on HTV. Here. Hey, how are you? I'd like to commend uh, Chief DePlanis and uh, Sergeant Lyons on the uh, job that they're doing on the Neighborhood Watch and these ladies for having the courage to get involved with the Neighborhood Watch. It's something that benefits everybody in the parish. Anytime crime is being uh, stifled, uh, it benefits everybody. 
But I'd like to accept, uh, uh, especially uh, congratulate Chief DePlanet. It took a lot of hard work and his time and the willingness to get out there and meet with the people and get involved with the people, which a lot of chiefs in the past uh, was unwilling to do. And I'm not blaming him for it. Everybody has their own uh, special agenda and special ways of dealing with things. Chief DePlanters has a specialty of dealing with people and don't mind dealing with people. Uh, I know on a lot of occasions that people have come into my business and talked to me about him and told me that they had called him about a problem and next thing you know he's knocking at their door. They, 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 they was amazed that they, they couldn't believe that the chief showed up at their house. You know, but that's how Chief DePlanters is. And I just want to thank him and just y'all keep up the good work. Thank you, sir. And, and I have to reiterate, because when we would go to the commercial break, same thing with the panel up here was saying, you know, a few years ago, it wasn't necessarily, uh, at least to this, this point of being this size, where y'all can do the things y'all do. And uh, I would also have to believe, Chief DePlantis, that somewhere back in your mind, you're thinking, I, you know, I'm glad we got all of this done, but God, it's, it helps you too. I mean, obviously yeah. it, it helps your department it's, also. Yeah, when, when I first came in, I mean, one of the first things I wanted to do was get in the community. I knew I had a big task at hand and I knew I couldn't do it alone. And that was my goal was to get in the community and get the assistance of the residents. And I knew with the residents behind me, it was a win-win situation. Very good, very good. Lines lit up. Let me get back to the lines. Hello, you're on by a time. Good afternoon, Sam. Hey, how are you? All right, first of all, I want to say get well to Jim in the gate. I hope he's feeling good, and I'll be glad to see him soon. And I want to give a comment to Mr. Chief the Planet. I'm not from home in Louisiana. I'm from some power, but I like Chief the Planet because he's doing a good job over there for y'all. I know he's a real great guy. I've been watching over years on TV, on HTV, talking and everything, talk good. I think he's got a pretty good sergeant, too, next to him, because he talks pretty good, too. And uh, I hope they keep on the good work over there, what they're doing and everything. I hope everybody would do what they're doing, have their brother watch, keep all that drugs that's going on and ruining kids' life and everything. People need to start waking up and see what's going on. Uh, I was hearing that guy talking about credit card theft. Uh, well, I'm going to tell you what I seen one day. I was at Walmart, me and my wife we were buying groceries. And they had this lady in, uh, in front of us, and they had another colored guy in back of the lady. And the lady was taking a credit card out, and I seen the colored guy, he put a cell phone out, he put it on, he put it over the lady's shoulder. And I don't know if he was taking a picture of her credit card or what he was doing, but he put his cell phone over the lady's shoulder and aimed it at it. But I don't know if that's what he was doing or not. I didn't want to say nothing because I didn't want to start no trouble, you know. I was going to say something, but my wife told me not to get involved with that, you know. You want me to get into a truck? That's all I got to tell y'all. Y'all keep on the good work. Y'all have a good Fourth of July. Thank you. That's interesting. I guess with cell phone, you know, yeah. with social media today, you got to watch out for everything. Be careful. And, and I know he, he mentioned, you know, he didn't want to get involved. And that's one of the things that I try to educate the, the public is to get involved. And that's what Neighborhood Watch is about, is getting involved. And the communities, like I was telling you, with the high crimes, those are the communities that are not involved. And I have to get in there, and we have to educate them, and hopefully we can get them more involved. So there's a distinct correlation. Yeah. You know, between. So we can, yeah. Line one, you said, Jason? Let me, yeah, here we go. Hello, you're on HTV. Hello. Hi, how are you? All right, I'm calling about that uh, security system. Okay. Uh, they, a few months ago, they had a segment on Fox News TV about them, that they was going around and telling people, you know, to give them the discount. They take their money, they put the, the security system up, and not set it. They, they wasn't set into the uh, their office. You know, they didn't have no no service to the system. They was just taking so, it and ran. It was a scam. You might want to check in on that. Do you know? Did they present themselves with any specific company or anything? Yeah, it was Pinnacle. Oh, it was, it was Pinnacle and uh, Fox. One of the news reporters for Fox Eight. We uh, uh, talk to them, and they ran from the cameras. Now, the other thing is, and you will mention this while we have you on the line, and I want to clarify this with Chief DePlanis. You said that they actually carry identification or yeah, some well, type of... Yeah, uh, well, the permits, I spoke to the permit um, today, the uh, Terrebonne Parish Permit Department, and they should have, a, the permit should be visible for the residents to see. But again, you know, I mean, I would encourage, I, I mean, somebody come knock at your door. I don't encourage... Uh, you know, call the police because I really don't encourage 
entertain anybody coming to knock at your door trying to sell you stuff. Right. I, I, I just don't like it. Right. That's that's a good point you bring up. And uh, I got to tell you, being in that situation just a couple of months ago, I, I've learned a lesson. I've really learned a lesson. Thanks for calling. All right. Thank so you. I'm just saying, you know, just check in on it. You know, you might want to call Foxy. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. My situation was, uh, you know, and we were talking a little bit about this off air. It was a young college guy who came and knocked on the door. He right. did not have any identification. He was a very polite young man, but he mentioned to me every falsehood that you mentioned that a little bit sense. earlier. So uh, uh, he never came back around. So I assume he probably didn't have any kind of uh, permission to be where he was at. Now, we are at the process. Like I said, I did research. I do have some numbers. We do have a detective on it that is assigned to contact these companies, and hopefully we can put a stop to these people that are giving the false information to the <clears throat> residents. Very good. I'd like to thank all of you for coming on because it was very eye-opening to me and I'm sure to the viewers out there. And one more time, the Wright Avenue area is meeting at Maple Park on Maple August 2nd. At Maple Avenue, I'm Maple sorry. Avenue. But I, is it called Maple Park? Uh, Maple Avenue Park, My, I think is the... Okay. And, uh, and, and actually, I know right where it's at, mm -hmm. so that's actually a good place to meet. Your meeting time is? From, uh, ours is from 5.30 to 7. Well, good, if you know where it is, we'll see you there. <laughs> okay, well, actually, <laughs> once again, I got him to mention all of the neighborhoods because I sure would like to see my neighborhood and maybe get into it pretty soon, and they're starting to do some things in the neighborhood. So you might have 22 before good deal. it's all over That's fine. We'll Should make you a block head. captain. Okay. <laughs> Or a blockhead. Oh. <laughs> that's, what, yeah. that's, that's what I get called sometimes. The blockhead. Well, I don't want to be called McGruff. <laughs> you, know, you can have McGruff down there. Uh, Ashley, y'all are meeting at Dumas, which is very easy as far mm -hmm. as uh, right there. Again, August uh, 2nd, and is it the same time? Ours Bob? is 530 to 7. 530 to 7. Mm -hmm. and, and there's a pretty good chance that all of Homa will have something going on. Oh, yeah, it's going to be very night. busy during them times from 4 o'clock to about seven, eight o'clock, we're gonna be very busy. And very good. And I just wanna add that Bayou Towers, they, they aren't able to get out, of course, most of them. Their event's gonna be held at the Bayou Towers. They start at 4.30, it'll be the first group that we visit. Uh, they're usually the first one to start their, their festivities. Uh, yep. We'll be there for 4.30, and like I said, we'll make our rounds with 36 officers that we have assigned to it. Very good. And I do wanna mention this before we go off air, www.homapd.com. Because i got to tell you, there's tons of very good information, yes. and there are links to the parish site and everything. Correct. So if you want to find out, you can actually find out more about the National Night out Correct. there. We, we actually through. just put that link on our website a couple of weeks ago. Miss Munson made that Thank suggestion, you. and <laughs> we did it. Very good. And what we'll do is, is we'll hold on to those graphics for when your groups meet uh, as far as that night and where you're meeting at. But if any of the other neighborhoods want us to put out where they'll good, be meeting, sure. we'll certainly do that. I'll get them to you. Very good. Thank Very good. Thank you guys for coming up. Thank it was you. a pleasure Thank to meet you. all of you. Going to take a commercial break. When we come back, we're going to have my good friend Justin Verde up. He's going to be talking about a promotion he has going on at the beginning of July. We'll do that after this break. <laughs> 